So growing mental strength and resistance. It's a work of your life, man. It's a work of your life. When you get to a point whereby you stop checking on people, um, when you get to a point whereby you stop needing people in your life, that constant need, that gratification, freedom. That's what freedom tastes like. That's what it smells like. Freedom. But here's the thing. It's a long way, man. It's a long way that you, that you need to take step by step by minute by minute. First, you have to feel that, that now no one's there. And I'm not going back to reaching out to people, to trying to get people to, you know, give you that. You're going to have to do it step by step, brick by brick, going in the inside, feeling their loneliness, their loneliness, feeling it. I'm there. No one's here. That's the first step. And then you get to a point whereby you realize I'm doing fine. But sometimes it, it will go back into saying, let me just call my friend and see. And then you then you're fine and then you feel like nah man. You see that constant unsettling feeling of I deserve better. It means you really do deserve better. You know, the human body and the mind and the soul was created in a way to tell us things. Don't go there. This person is wasting my time. This is not right. I shouldn't take this thing. Why am I doing this? So long as you do something and you feel some guilt, it's not the right one. The dopamine effect may make it feel good for a season, but it's hell afterwards. So long as you do something and you're not free, so long as it feels like, why is this person expecting me to go the extra mile? How come he's not even doing a quarter mile? You get what I'm saying? Get to a point where you do something freely and you know exactly that I can't take this. I can't allow this in. It's not what me I'm supposed to be doing. Don't take something because you feel like, ah, oh, man, what am I going to do? No. Get to a point where you're just free. You're free to say, not now, later. Not now, later. There mustn't be any pressure that's pulling you towards taking a decision. So long as you're with anyone in this world and you feel like, why, man? Why am I going extra? Why am I not getting back what I'm putting in? It's still not freedom. So long as you are doing something because you have a reason to that's rushing you. Still not freedom. Why am I saying this? Human beings in this world, no matter who you are, you need to know exactly what respect is. You need to know what freedom is. Don't just get into something because you're like, ah, oh, man, finally I won't be alone. No. You would rather feel that deep effect of like, no one's there, but you're fine. You have your morals, you have, you have your respect, you're just fine, you're perfectly fine. Rather than feeling that, what am I doing here? This person's always promising to visit, they never show up. They always expect me to visit, they never show up. Now here's the thing. Get to that point whereby you're saying, I'm just going to feel the alone pain. Whether it's six months, seven months, nine months, you're going to feel it. And some days it will feel like going back to other people. And it's natural, it's there. In the brain, it's there. Then you feel like, ah, and then it's too hard, I can't. Think about this. Your freedom, your morals, your self-esteem, and just throwing yourself into someone knowing it's not because you do not want to but because it feels like I don't want to feel that man. after taking that walk now you're free now the instinct is pulling you and saying do you want to accept anything do you want to accept any dates do you want to accept offers now you're taking decisions now it's freedom now you know exactly that 
being by myself is fun. I get more out of what I put in. I'd rather take my my gift, do something for my family or my mom or my cousin. I'd rather take my money and spend it with myself and just go on hiking, go on med meditation. Now I'm not boring with myself. Now I don't feel like shh. I just know I'm just going to spend 24 hours alone and it's, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. Now you're a different person from before. Now you've taken the three months alone road. Now you've taken the, the part to self-discovery, the part to self-healing. And here's the fun part. You smell it, you feel it. Even when, when the air comes in, when you step outside the house, you can feel it now. It's freedom. Freedom, real freedom. Only you have the secret of making that happen. Only you have the secret. There's nothing else I can say. The secret within, inside the mind, it's there. Inside your mind, now. Now you're a warrior. You're like, oh yeah, man, I did it. Oh yeah, man. Now, now you trust yourself to do anything. Anything. Now you're self-reliant. Now you've evolved. Now you can take on anything. When you fall into a hard time, you know exactly, I'm just going to feel it. I'm just going to feel it. I'm not reaching out to anyone. Now you're a warrior, a champion. Now you're a gladiator. Now you're looking at the world and say, bring it on. Now everything's fun because you went through all of those months and months. You went through all of those pains. You went through all of those stresses. Now you know exactly that's what's coming. Bring it on. Nothing's holding you back. Now it's up to you to say, do I want to challenge myself for more? Do I want to challenge myself for fasting? Do I want to challenge myself to taking more time away from my phone? Now I can take time away from social media now. I'm just free. My self-control is at the highest point. Congratulations if you've reached there. If you're still on your journey, you can start as much as much. You can restart as much. It really doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the first step.